Hi, this is David Gawley from Pentagon Solutions in Belfast and what I'd like to do is take a look at uh, creating some basic roofs in Revit Architecture 2010. I've got my plan and my 3D view in front of me and I'm going to go to my home tab and we're going to have a look at roof and roof by footprint. Um, in here I'm going to actually add 200mm overhang and as you see I can hover over one of the walls and it'll pick up the edge. If I hit the tab key, it'll pick up all walls and left click. So I've got my default roof in with a slope applied to all sides and hit finish roof. So that's added my roof in, which I can select and then change the element properties off, say to 125mm. If I want to make this a gable, I can either select it in plan or 3D, go to edit footprint, pick up the edges that I want to make as a gable. I'm using my control key for multiple select take the fine slope off and hit finish roof and again I can project my edges, I can use my tab key to pick up all my walls and attach to the actual roof. If I ne again need to change that roof further I can edit the footprint so if I'm going to take the fine slope off here and finish the roof again it's changing uh, the roof pitch, single pitch there. I can select this if I want to make it back to a flat roof or into a flat roof I can pick this edge here, define slope off and finish the roof. If I need to add a slope to it, again I can pick the roof up, edit footprint. We've got a slope arrow. Now what I'm going to do on the slope arrow properties, I'm going to give, rather than hide it tail, I'm going to change that to slope or pitch, say, and I'm going to make that 5 degrees and finish the roof. Again, taking it back a bit further, back to its original design concept. I'm going to edit the footprint, move the slope, hit tab to pick up all my edges, define slope on, and the only difference here, I'm going to say make this into what I would call a Dutch hip. I'm going to change the properties and the plate offset from the base, I'm going to make 1500mm. Finish the roof, you can see like my Dutch hip in there. And finally, what I'm going to do is to show a quick, um, quickly how we create a dormer window. Edit footprint. The key to creating a dormer is to actually split the roof edge out. Make this component no slope. And then add two slope arrows from the end point to the midpoint of our gable underneath. Then I'll pick this up and change my physical properties from height at tail, the slope, and add in my pitch and finish my roof. I might need to reattach my actual components in there, but there's my actual uh, dormer window. Many thanks for listening.